Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I am here today with another haul because it seems to be what I'm really good at. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I have a haul here of some things from Cult Beauty and also some things from Iconic London that I picked up. So it's in a pile here. So where do I start? Maybe let's start with the Iconic stuff just because it's there are fewer things. So I got two things and a freebie. So the two things I decided to get, as I just realised I have mascara all over my hands, good work. Uh, I got the Luster Lip Oil in the shade Sugar Mama, which is, it looks clear, it's got the teeny, you can just see it there, teeny, 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 tiniest like pink tint to it. Um, these are my first products from Iconic, I haven't bought anything from them before, I was talking to my friend about it the other day and I just kind of took the plunge and placed an order. So, I have the lip luster which is very similar to the Dior lip oil, the lip glow lip oil. I like the Dior slightly better, I feel like the packaging is slightly nicer on the Dior, but the Dior is also more expensive. So, this is, this is kind of like a... It's a stickier texture, so it, it's sort of like a gloss, but not really a gloss, but it does give you a glossy finish, but it's more hydrating than a gloss. So, Luster Lip Oil in Sugar Mama. And then this, which I'm actually really excited about, this is the uh, Brow Silk Kit. Can you see that? Is this lighting washing everything out? Probably is. Sorry. So, it looks like a huge box for a brow thing, and that is because inside the box you have... The product itself, so this is, there you go, you can just see that reflected in everything that's the other side of the camera. And it's like a brow wax. But also with that, you get a like toothbrush style applicator, which you use to, you know, to apply. I tried it the day that I got it, and I actually really like it. I'm not wearing it now, I have like something with colour now. But I think for days where I'm kind of doing less less heavy makeup and I just want something to just tidy my brows, this with this is a really really lovely combination. So, so far, so far I'm liking what I've got. Also, because I spent over £35, I got a free bronzer brush, which is actually a very nice brush. Um, kind of big and fluffy, very soft, um, nice, you know, it's a plastic handle but it doesn't feel super cheap, so nice, nice freebie. So that was my stuff from Iconic. Everything else I'm going to share with you came from Cult Beauty. I'm a big fan of Cult Beauty. It's one of my favourite places online to shop for makeup and, you know, just kind of general beauty products, just because they have a really good selection of brands. There's often discount codes or discounts on particular brands. Also, uh, if you use Quidco, you can get cash back as well, and I'm a Quidco user when I remember, and so the cash back element is nice. So. I have two things, like two individual products and then a kit. So I'm going to talk to you about the kit first. So this is the Up Close On Skin Care Edit. So if you don't know, Cult Beauty very often do these kind of edit kits where you'll get a number of products in a set for um, a, like a greatly reduced price. So it's usually, like they can often be the cost of one product at RRP is still um, less than the cost of the whole box. So this one is the Up Close On Skin Care Edit and it says here, a five piece collection of skin care essentials to polish, refine and enliven. This edit will make you fall in love with your skin and its beautiful idiosyncrasies. No filters, no foundation, just your unadorned and naturally luminous complexion. will cleanse to that. I could have done without the kind of cheesy pun, but that's the sleeve and then it's in it's in a cult beauty box. So, inside this kit, and at the time of recording, which is Friday night, because uh, I'm wild and crazy, but where else would I be right now? Um, this kit is still available, so you can still get it. So it is five products, and I'm just going to grab and show you just because I have them. Some of these are full size and some of them aren't. So first up, this is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And this is a 50ml. I don't know, see in my viewfinder, which is here, which is where I'm trying to get out of the habit of looking all the time, uh, I never know how much is showing up because I can't tell if that's just completely washed out. 
but nonetheless, 50ml fresh soy face cleanser. I've tried this before but only ever in teeny tiny samples, so it's never really been enough to get a feel for whether I like it or not. So I am, um, it looks like it's kind of a, not a foamy one, but you know, like a use on wet skin type one. So I'm definitely happy to give that a go because I know it like it's generally quite well regarded from what I've seen. So we will try that. Next up, keeping with cleansy face type products, although this is not necessarily one I want to use on my face. I actually have another plan for this. This is the Wishful, there we go, Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub from... Well, I guess Wishful is the brand, but I mean technically it's, it's the skincare line for Huda Beauty. And I've had some tiny samples of this and again, not used it on my face. Because actually what I want to do with this is I want to use it on my hands. I may try it on my face, but the plan is actually to use it on my hands because you can't necessarily see super well. I'm starting to feel like my hands are aging because all of me's aging because, you know, that's how it works. If you're lucky enough to still be alive, you're aging. Um, so I'm going to try this on the backs of my hands specifically because at the moment I don't have a good hand scrub. Uh, my favourite one was the Rituals one. Rituals used to make an amazing hand scrub that came in like a silver tube with a white cap and they discontinued it and now they do have one that is in their I think it's the Ayurveda range like the rose Ayurveda range and I don't really like the smell of that so I haven't other than like I bought a tube to test it and it's the scrub part is fine I just don't like the smell and the smell is such a big deal with products for me that if I don't like the smell of something I just simply won't use it so I thought that maybe I would give that a try for the backs of my hands just to see if that would if that would do anything so we'll see. And I may yet try it on my face as well, but you know. Um, next up, let's go with this one. So this is the, this is one of the more affordable products in the in the kit. This is the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. This is a 30 ml. Um, the Inky List are a brand sort of similar to The Ordinary in that it, it's sort of marketed as a bit of a, I guess like a bit of a no frills, you know, does what it says on the tin kind of range. And this is very tiny for a 30ml. I mean it's 30ml but, it, but it's tiny. I don't know if this is full size, I have no idea. I actually saw Jamie Genevieve use this in her skincare routine a week or so ago when I watched the video go up so I know that she really likes this one. I've only had one other thing from the brand which was the polyglutamic acid which I did not enjoy. Um, it was my first time trying polyglutamic acid and their polyglutamic, polyglutamaic, whatever, you know the one I mean. Uh, it was my first time trying that particular type of product, so I don't know whether it was this formula that, or, you know, the Inculus formula that I didn't like or the actual ingredient itself. So, what's nice, I've just realised on the front of the box here, it actually says hyaluronic acid, like it's phonetically spelled out on the front of the box which is great. Shame I don't have the box for the other one to be able to tell. But I'll give it a go. Um, it's always nice to have like a hyaluronic acid kicking around for days when you feel like you need it. So that's something. Next up, this I'm actually, I'm kind of impressed by. And this isn't, I say impressed just in terms of like packaging and all of that kind of stuff. Because it was not what I expected. So this is the Summer Fridays Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. This is 100ml. You can't see it because of the light. There we go. So, uh, I had this impression, and I do this a lot with, with products, where I'll kind of get a first impression of a brand and then just think, oh, it's not really for me. Um, and I kind of got this vibe about Summer Fridays that, that it was like, it was all mouth and no trousers, if that makes sense. So that it was very much hype and marketing and brand and, and all of that. And I was kind of expecting things to feel a bit cheap. Like, and obviously I'm not talking about the efficacy of the product here, I don't know. But this is in a glass bottle. This feels substantial in a way that I did not expect that it would. So I have no idea what's in this, whether it's something that I'm going to... I'm going to like or not like. I don't have any kind of acid toner happening at the moment. Um, I tend to, if I'm going to use an AHA, I tend to use a mask generally rather than a toner. But I am happy to give this a try. And like I said, I am really surprised by how 
just how the, the like the product experience itself is really nice I don't know you know by, by which I mean like the packaging and the branding I don't know what it'll be like on my face we shall see um on the back it says this powerful three-in-one nighttime treatment exfoliates brighten skin and helps reduce the appearance of pores overnight a concentrated solution of 16 percent AHAs lifts dead skin and refined skin texture so you wake up to a softer smoother fresh faced glow so we'll see. What I do know is that this whole kit, I believe, was £42. And I believe this is in the region of that. This might even be £49 to buy on its own. So in terms of the value of what's in the kit, it's a good one. And then the last thing we have here is the glow recipe. Hold it in front of the camera, Beth. In front of the camera so that people can see it. Uh, glow recipe, banana souffle moisture cream. I've had a couple of things from Glow Recipe that have been nice. This I was excited to try because, so, fun fact about me, I don't like fresh banana. Like if you give me a banana to eat, I'm not interested. I don't really like the flavour and I especially don't like the texture. Fake banana though, and if you can hear that noise, that's the floorboards in the room next door. Uh, fake banana flavour, I'm all about it. So banana milkshake from McDonald's, but chocolate covered banana foam sweets. Oh, yeah, I love those. And this smells like, yeah, smells like fake banana in the best way possible. And I've just thrown it everywhere. Okay. We're gonna need to clean that up in a minute, but not until I finish my video. So, uh, so yeah, banana souffle, moisture cream, a soothing lightweight daily moisturiser that resets, replenishes and seals in a boost of lasting hydration for all skin types, even sensitive skin. Blended with banana, magnesium, turmeric and sika, this sweet souffle is your recipe for calmer, hydrated, healthy looking skin. We'll see. But it smells good. We like that part. And so, that was everything that was in the box. So the other two things I got um, are here. So one of them, I've been looking for a new cleansing oil for a while. I finished up my Origins one a little while ago. Didn't get around to repurchasing it. And obviously with pandemic and lockdown and all of that, the most makeup I ever wear at any given point is when I'm filming. And I only film once a week. So I've been using the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion cleanser, which I absolutely love. That will take makeup off fine. So that's what I've been using kind of as my all the time cleanser but I wanted to get another cleansing oil and a brand that I don't have tons and tons from but I do really enjoy is Caudalie and Caudalie have a cleansing oil this is this is the 75 ml it does come in a bigger bottle but I just got the smaller one because it was what was in stock the bigger bottle seems to have been out of stock every time I've tried to get it so who knows but this is the makeup removing cleansing oil moisturizing grape and sweet almond and it says Anything in English? It actually doesn't say anything. Oh, there we go. Massage with your eyes closed, emulsify and rinse, 100% natural origin ingredients. So, first ingredient is sunflower seed oil, so that's always nice to see like a natural ingredient in an oil that's claiming to be sort of natural. That's nice. So I'll report back on that. Um, you'll see it in a favorites if it's something that I end up liking, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. And then this one, this is, surprise, surprise, it's a Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. This has been on my list to buy for the longest time. And I'd had a couple of, uh, when you order from Charlotte Tilbury directly, you can pick samples and you can get like uh, cards like of foundation samples in a bunch of shades so you can test it and I tested it a few times and I was definitely shade two and I figured that out before Christmas and then when I went to buy the foundation it was out of stock everywhere um, and it restocked it may have restocked just before Christmas and I just I got it I got it with my birthday discount code from cult so this is the original foundation that she launched and it's the really light luminous glowy one it's this guy that looks very similar to the I think it's the Wonder Glow primer the packaging is very similar this is shade 2 because I think shade 1 would be too light for me and it says here for a daily luminous tint with SPF 15 blend a small amount onto the uh, 
Let's try that again, shall we? For a daily luminous tint with SPF 15, blend a small amount onto your skin from the nose outwards. For a more flawless glowing finish, pat on top of areas where extra coverage is needed using a brush, shake before use, and that's 40ml. So I'm excited to have this because, again, like I said, not wearing tons of makeup when I am wearing something. So this is, this is as full of makeup, as full of a face, there we go, get the phrasing right, as full of a face as I'm wearing, and that's because I'm filming. Um, in the event that I need a face for like a Zoom call for work, I want something, I, like I don't want to wear this. This is not work appropriate particularly, not for me anyway. So I wanted a lighter foundation to, to just use in those instances. Something to give me a bit of a boost, a bit of like, a bit of glow and a bit of, you know, a bit of something. So, I got this and it's, you know, it's Charlotte Tilbury, which is my, you know, my favourite brand at the moment, although actually nothing on my face right now is Charlotte Tilbury. Everything is, I'm looking over at my like, the detritus of makeup application. Oh, setting spray. Oh, and the lipstick. So of all of the lip colours, Pillow Talk, I have pillow talk and then I have something over the top. But yeah, as much as it's my favourite brand, it's not what I'm wearing right now. But it is my favourite brand. I haven't necessarily hauled everything that I've bought from Charlotte Tilbury recently. Especially before Christmas because it got ridiculous before Christmas. Mostly because I was just concerned about it becoming a bit samey. So filming multiple hauls in a month is one thing. But like multiple hauls from the same brand just didn't strike me as something that you'd necessarily want to see. So I, I bought a crap ton of stuff over Christmas and with all the Christmas releases because it seemed to be like there was a new product every week I got a bunch of that stuff I just didn't haul it but it is very much it is very much my favorite brand so hopefully I get along well with this we'll see and for this video that is all that is everything uh beauty wise that I've bought in the last few weeks that I thought you might be interested to see um if you've tried anything that I've talked about Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts on it and, you know, some feedback from, from people who watch me regularly would be great. And, yeah, that's all for this one. I will be back next week with another video. I hope in the meantime that you are all taking care and staying safe, wearing your masks, washing your hands, all that stuff. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.